Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Kira. And in this vlog, I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me each day as I try to complete some things on my huge to-do list, spread them all out throughout the week and make sure that I can get more things done. So if you are interested in seeing kind of my plan for that and how I get things done during the week, then definitely stay tuned. Hey y'all, so I am home. It is actually a Tuesday, March the 22nd, and I'm going ahead and starting this vlog. I want to get myself more organized and I want to make sure that I spread out my tasks as a teacher throughout the week and so I don't feel overwhelmed on a certain day by leaving it to do all of it at once. Typically on Sundays, that's when I just like basically block out my whole Sunday and I'm working for like six to seven hours just to get myself prepped and prepared for the next week. And so I want to take that load off of myself. And so I decided to spread all the tasks out that I know I have to do basically every single week, no matter what. I spread these things out Monday through Sunday and I kind of wrote them on sticky notes. So the next clip that you will see, you'll see my sticky notes and I will share with you guys my goal for each day and what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, each day and then um, I'll show you guys me doing those things throughout this week okay friends so here is my desk setup and so this is where I sit to edit my videos and do my lesson plans and all that good stuff if I do it at home and so like I mentioned to you before I had sticky notes laid out so yesterday was Monday and on Monday I was like, you know what? I'm just doing way too much on Sundays. So let's kind of disperse some of the things that I do on Sundays and kind of make myself sticky note reminders. And I plan to make it a lot neater. So once I make it a lot neater, um, I'll show you guys at the end of this video. <clears throat> but for now, they're on sticky notes. This is like real life. It's happening like right now. <laughs> So um, on Monday, you see there's nothing on this sticky note. And it is because Mondays are typically days where when I come home, I don't want to do absolutely anything. Um, you know, Mondays are the most exhausting for me. And so I my plan is to like really not do anything on Mondays, like just leave school on time, come home and focus on me and do a little self care for myself on Mondays. And so that's that so that's why there's nothing there you see this blank spot here because today is tuesday and so this is the sticky note for tuesday so on tuesdays i plan to plan out my week do my phonics lesson plans and then do my small group plans for the following week and so I used to use this planner. Um, if you saw my last planner video, then um, I believe I walked you guys through this planner. I will put it up in the cards if you're interested to see how I set it up. But I've decided to ditch it. Guys, I know, me, paper planner, Kira, what? I decided to ditch this i mean it's still here because i do like paper and i still plan to use like the monthly view of it and just kind of like have it open i plan to like just you know have it open here on my desk but lugging this thing around is just eh, too much so i decided to start using this here so this is my ipad pro don't ask me what generation because your girl does not even know. Um, this technically isn't even mine. So um, in my district, they give all teachers iPads and iPad pencils. Your girl is too broke <laughs> to go out here and buy this herself. So I but I really, really wanted it because I've seen so many people on Instagram use it. 
and I really wanted to use it. And so I was super duper happy when I found out we get these. So this is my iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. And so this is what I used to do my planning on the cover here. I just have um, Callie Dan Yell. I just take her um, art from Instagram and I'll leave her shop down here below. She has some really cute stuff. Always comes out with monthly wallpapers and things like that. So this is the March wallpaper and I just um, screenshotted it and sent it to my iPad from my phone. And I use this and a digital planner with a GoodNotes app to plan out my week and also to plan out my small group plans for the following week. My phonics plans will be done on the computer. It's like, you know, our district drive is a special place for our plans. So we go in and we do it there. So that's the plan for today. If you are interested in me like going through the specific planner that I use and all that good stuff, um, or if you want me to break down phonics and how we do phonics in kindergarten, because I'm the phonics person for my team and I absolutely love it. So if that is something you want to know more about or you want me to do a video about it, definitely leave me a comment down below and like this video. Also small group, um, if you want me to kind of explain how we do small groups I can do that as well so if any of that interests you definitely leave me a comment down below you can also find me on Instagram and shoot me a DM over there I will definitely respond I'm not that popular so I will actually be responding to you <laughs> in a reasonable amount of time okay so definitely check me out on Instagram too but anywho, so that's what I'll be doing today. And then after I go through the rest of these sticky notes, that's kind of what you'll see me doing for today. But then I have on Wednesdays, um, my part of the math plans is like the general page. And then I go through and do like all of the learning targets, closures, um, and things like that. Um, and then my team lead, you guys have seen her in the vlogs, Michelle, she is the one that does like the meat of the math plans. And so on Wednesdays, that's when we typically do our plans because our plans are due on Thursday. So I'll do my math plans on Wednesday, make a list of all the things I need to prep for the prep or print for the following week, because by then the reading and the math plans will be done and in the drive. And so I can go in there and see what I need. And then I also want to put my students iPads on the charger. So they're set and ready to go for the rest of the week. On Thursdays, I want to um, create the slides for the week. So if you're familiar with my um, weekly vlogs, then you know that we use slides to guide our day, which has been awesome. That's one takeaway from the pandemic <laughs> teaching that we actually like. And so I will do my part of the slides on Thursdays and then um, print anything like in color. That's what print things from home means. So I have an HP Instant Ink subscription. If you're interested in that or something that you might want, I'll put my um, link down below my referral link so that you can get some free pages and I can get some free pages too. Um, so definitely check out the description box, but I will print um, anything in color that I want at home. And so anything I need for my lessons for the following week, I'll print them at home on Thursday. And then on Fridays, Fridays are my big days. This is when I stay after school no matter what and get everything done and prep that I need to get done for the following week. And so here I have to do copies for homework, my behavior chart because my students get a behavior chart, um, anything I need for reading, math, any anecdotal notes that I'll need for next week um, because that's how we assess our students in kindergarten. We use anecdotal notes. And so I'll print all those things out on Friday or make copies of those if needed. Um, I pull out the books that we'll need for our lessons, make any anchor charts, um, pull out any materials and kind of get my reading and math carts set up for the week. And then I make sure that I put all the iPads on the charger for the weekend. And then lastly, like I told you guys, or I don't know if I mentioned it, but on Saturdays, I do absolutely 
nothing school related. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, no matter what. This is blank, but I might do something on a Monday, but I'm definitely not doing anything on a Saturday. And that's why there is no sticky note for Saturday. On Sundays, I want to kind of do the minimum. And that's like, you know, check my email for the week. Make sure I send out my newsletter for the week to my parents. Um, that's when I'll fill out this planner, the monthly view, just so that I'm kind of abreast as to what's going on in my life. Um, and then do my budget. And then these are kind of like non teacher related but like I make sure that you know I wash and twist my hair I'm natural so that's how I get my curls going and then you know fold my laundry get gas for the week and do my lunch groceries and so that is the plan in sticky notes like I said by the end of this video you guys will see it in a better form so I am going to go ahead and hop off of here set up my iPad and bang out this to-do list here. And so I hope you guys enjoy this little time lapse. Hey friends. So last clip you saw was me showing you um, my sticky notes and how, and the tasks that I wanted to do for each day. Well, Yesterday, after I filmed that clip, wasn't feeling my best. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it <coughs> in my voice. Um, I believe it's allergies because, you know, there's nothing like green and goopy coming out of my nose or anything like that. I have like a dry cough and my nose is just stuffed up and runny and stuff. And so that's just been making me feel down. My energy is very low. Um, and then not to mention in my class, um, I have 21 students. Yesterday, 12 of them were out due to sickness. Um, today, I have at least nine out still due to sickness. So needless to say, my numbers have been very low and I have been grateful for it because if I had to deal with all the things that I needed to deal with this week and had all my kids, like, mm. but, uh, so that is a blessing. Um, but said all that to say, um, I decided not to do anything at home last night. I listened to my body, took some medicine, laid down, went to sleep <clears throat> early, woke up this morning, still felt like I didn't get enough rest. Um, but it is what it is. So my plan is to do what I need it to do for Tuesday and for Wednesday. I'm going to go ahead and try to tackle most of that now during my planning period. I have about <clears throat> I have about 30 minutes before I need to go and pick up my students from PE. So I'm going to go ahead and set you down and get to work on my sticky notes. Um, this is the first one. You guys saw this one last night. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plan out the week, get my phonics plans done, um, and try to map out what I wanna do for small group plans. Um, if I do that in a decent amount of time and I still have some time left, then I'm gonna go ahead and start on my Wednesday sticky note, which is doing math plans and making sure that when I leave today, I put all the students' iPads on the chargers and then make a list of things that I need to print when I get home. So those are the things I need to tackle before I leave here today. I'm gonna get some things done now, probably get some things done during my lunch break, and then do some things after school. I'm gonna stay about an hour um, after school so that, like I said, when I go home, I don't have anything to do. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. pick up my kiddos and I have about one minute until I need to go get them so I'm gonna flip you around and show you my iPad so you can see what I've done 
So first off, I on the computer, I put in my phonics plans, did that. On my iPad, I planned out the week and small group for next week. The only thing I need to do is write out the, figure out what the standards are that we are going to review and make sure I write them in my book. So this is the digital planner that I use. Like I mentioned before in this video, if you want me to do more of an in-depth video on this planner, definitely let me know and down in the comments below. But next week, first off, we are out on the first. That is our first day of spring break. Yay. So for reading, we're continuing with story elements. Our books for next week are Tops and Bottoms and Bunny's Big Surprise. I need to make sure I assess them on that skill next week. For small group and my green groups, we're doing lessons 13 and 14. And then with my yellow group, we're doing lessons three and four. Then for phonics, we are doing short vowel E. That will be all week. And then for math, it is a review week. And so I'll be getting all of my assessing done for the skills that we review that week, um, which I will come back maybe later on in this video and show you those skills. And then for a small group um, for math, I am making sure that I um, write down all my anecdotal notes for all the assessments that we'll be getting. So. I'm all planned out for the most part for next week. And so that means that Tuesday's sticky note is complete. And so this afternoon I will be completing Wednesday's sticky note. So stay tuned for that. Morning friends, it is Thursday. Um, yesterday literally ran out of here because I think I mentioned earlier in this vlog that my kids have been getting sick dropping like flies and I think I'm starting to get sick and so I just went home and got some rest at the moment I don't have a fever so I'm feeling okay that's why I'm here um I did most of the things on my Wednesday to do this before I left I put the kids iPads on the chargers and I did make um, I'm gonna put it here goes. I made a list of all the things that I need to print tonight when I get home. And so the only thing on the mat on the Wednesday list that I didn't get to is my my part my portion of the math plans. So I just opened up the classroom and everything and for the next 30 minutes I'm gonna sit here and do my math plans. And then on my Thursday checklist, um, I just need to do my slides for next week, my portion of the slides for next week, and then um, print everything that I wrote down on that list. So I'm going to get to my math plans and I will probably check in with you guys um, a little bit later. Um, I probably will add this afternoon I'm going to pick up my niece so starting today on Thursdays I'll be picking her up taking her to the library and working with her on um, reading and math and so um, today will be the first day we're doing that we won't be at the library too long today because today I just kind of want to do some assessments with her just to see where she is um, and what she knows um, so I'll probably take you guys along for that, but I'm going to stop yapping and I'm going to get to work.
friends. It is currently 11.10 and you saw me bring my water bottle and my lunch bag over to my table. I don't have much for lunch today. Um, just snacks. I don't really feel like eating a whole meal. Um, so I just brought my rice cakes and I have cinnamon Cheerios and an apple. And I also brought me some of my salt and vinegar veggie chips. So just gonna snack on this stuff. Um, you guys saw my sticky note for today. So I've already completed the phonics portion of the slides. All I have to do now is go in and complete the math portion of the slides and I can go ahead and cross that off my list today. Um, and then once I get home, I'll print off all that stuff from off of my print list that I showed you guys earlier. So this is my print list. I only have one, two, three, four, five, like five things that I need to print out for next week. So I'll print the originals tonight. And if I need to make any copies, then that's when I'll do the copies tomorrow. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my lunch. And if I finish my lunch beforehand, I might go ahead and do some work on my math slides, but wanted to go ahead and check in with you guys. So yeah, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Also today, Dara has her interview at my school it is virtual so she won't be here at the school um so i'll probably give her a call in a few minutes just to check in and make sure she's doing all right so y'all fingers crossed for her leave some encouragement down in the comments um i hope that she her interview goes well and that she could be working at my school next year guys so that's fun um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch and i'll talk to y'all later morning friends happy friday update on what i've done so far all of my sticky notes are up to date um y'all in yesterday's sticky note i needed to do my slides and i needed to do um print out my masters did that last um printed out the masters yesterday at home and um finished my slides before i even left school yesterday which was great i have my friday sticky note here and so today I need to make copies of those masters that I printed, make sure I have the books for next week, make any anchor charts or put stuff out so that I can make anchor charts on, on Monday, whatever I decide to do. Um, make sure I have any materials that I need for my lessons next week up and ready. And then before I leave today, I need to make sure I put all the iPads on the charger. So. I probably won't get to any of that until after school. The kids will be coming in in about five minutes. And um, during resource, we do not get a break today because it is the ROAR party. And so we use the ROAR acronym for our PBIS um, expectations classroom expectations or school-wide expectations and so when the kids get a certain amount of war bucks which i use dojo points so whatever amount of dojo points they got i trans i transfer that into war bucks and so if they got 35 dojo points or more um then they got to go to the war party and so as teachers we have to use our resource time to help out at the roar party. So that's what I'll be doing during resource, so I won't be able to check in then. Um, I may be able to check in during lunch, but let's get this Friday started. Hey friends, so I am checking in. It's been a pretty good day so far. Um, I did organize all of the things that I need to prep today. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys what I'm working with. All right, so I wrote this out 
for myself. Um, I would like to accomplish these things before I leave school today. So I need to make sure I have these books or if I don't, make sure that they are in the slides and ready to go. Um, as far as the videos for these books, then I need to make copies. And so this folder right here is where I put my copies. And so this week's master copies go here. So I need to copy our behavior sheets. My students get one each week. I need to copy this five finger retail. So we read the story, they put the story in order, beginning, middle and end, character and setting. And then this one here, I need to make copies of because this is the one that we are going to grade for store for retelling. And so I have the retelling rubric here on the back. So I just need to make copies of this front and back so that it's on each paper. <clears throat> so those are the copies that I need to make this afternoon. Over here, I just have like a sight word pack. I'm going to um, make a packet for my students for spring break. So anything that I want in that packet, I'm just gonna stick here and then I'll run off those copies next week. So there is that. Um, quickly, those two papers that you saw over there, they have my students' names on them. So that's why I'm not showing them to you. Those are my anecdotal notes. So that's what we use to collect our data or to make, to do grades for our kindergartners. Sometimes they'll do an activity, but most of the time we are pulling them and assessing one-on-one -on -one through anecdotal notes. Or if they're doing an independent practice, we'll walk around and um, use anecdotal notes for that. Um, I can show you this one because this one doesn't have any names on it and so this is for standard k.1 and there's four different areas in k.1 that we need to assess um, and so we would write the student's name here assess them on these skills if they made a one that is um, not mastery and four is mastery so this is what we use for anecdotal notes most of our anecdotal notes look just like this um, here's the one for measurement. <clears throat> so I am going to make these copies and that will take care of the copies on this list, books, materials, all of that good stuff. So if I can complete everything here, then I am good to go and set and ready for next week. And so that's pretty much it. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to run around and get everything on this list complete. So yeah, we're going to roll through it this afternoon and I'll check back in once I'm all done with everything and close out this vlog. Hey guys, it is the end of the day and copies are done. Uh, books are out. The only thing I need to do, iPads are on chargers. The only thing I need to do when I get home, anchor charts. You're out of here. Woo, four more days. Four more four days till spring days. break. Woo. Woo! So if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up so you can reach other people out there. If you have not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing to the channel so I can get these numbers up. If you haven't checked out the Instagram, here it goes here. Definitely check me out. It is Kira's Universe. And if someone hasn't told you already, I love you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.